Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with power electronics in the topic of DC to AC converters and inverters. So the first question. So the first question, inverters converts option A DC power to DC power, option B DC power to AC power, option C AC power to D AC power, option D AC power to DC power. So the correct answer is option B DC power to AC power. So next question, a VSI is the one in which the internal impedance of the sources is negligible. It has a stiff DC source at its input option A load accommodation, option B line accommodation, option C applying a negative gate pulse, option B removing the base signal. So the correct answer is option C applying a negative gate pulse. So next question, VSI using IGBTs are turned off by option A load accommodation, option B line accommodation, option C applying a negative gate pulse, option D removing the base signal. So the correct answer is option D removing the base signal. Next question, DAS based inverters do not require self accommodation. Option A, IGBT, Option B, GTO, Option C, PMO, SFET, Option D, SCR. So the correct answer is Option D, SCR. So next question, single phase half bridge inverters requires Option A, 2 wire AC supply, Option B, 2 wire DC supply, Option C, 3 wire AC supply, Option D, 3 wire DC supply. So the correct answer is option D 3 wire DC supply. Next question in a single phase half wave inverter dash SCR are gated at a time option A 1 option B 2 option C 3 option D none of mentioned. So the correct answer is option A 1. Next question the voltage in a single phase half wave inverter varies between option A Vs and 0 option B Vs divided by 2 and 0 option C Vs divided by 2 to minus Vs divided by 2 option D Vs and minus Vs. So the correct answer is option C Vs divided by 2 to minus Vs divided by 2. Next question the output of the single phase half bridge inverter on R load is ideally option A a sine wave option B a square wave option C a triangular wave option D constant DC. So the correct answer is option B a square wave. Next question the output current wave of single phase full bridge inverter on RL load is option A a sine wave option B a square wave option C a triangular wave option D constant DC. The correct answer is option C a triangular wave. Next question single phase full bridge inverter requires option A 4 SCRs and 2 diodes, option B 4 SCRs and 4 diodes, option C 2 SCR and 4 diodes, option D 2 SCRs and 2 diodes. The correct answer is option B 4 SCRs and 4 diodes. Next question, a single phase half bridge inverter has a DC voltage source Vs divided by 2 equal to 1 on 5 volts. Find the RMS value of the fundamental component of output voltage. Option A 510 volt, option B 103.5 volt, option C 120 volt, option D 96 volt. The correct answer is option B 103.5 volt. Next question, a single phase half bridge inverter has the load R equal to 2 ohms and a DC voltage source Vs divided by 2 equal to 115 volt. Find the RMS value of the fundamental load current. Option A 10.25 ampere, option B 51.7 amps, option C 86 amps, option D 24.8 amps. So the correct answer is option B 51.7 amps. Next question, in VSI voltage source inverters, option A both voltage and current depend on the load impedance, option B only voltage depend on the load impedance, option C only current depend on the load impedance, option D none of mention. The correct answer is option C only current depend on the load impedance. Next question, the harmonic factor of nth harmonic is given by option A Vn, option B V1 divided by Vn, option C Vn divided by V1, option D none of mention. The correct answer is option C Vn divided by V1. Next question, DAS is the measure of the contribution of the any individual harmonic to the inverter output voltage option A THD, option B distortion factor, option C harmonic factor, option D TUF. The correct answer is option C harmonic factor. 
Next question, the HF harmonic factor of nth harmonic is the ratio of option A an average and a RMS value, option B a RMS and an average value, option C 2 volt ampere values, option D 2 RMS value. So the correct answer is option D 2 RMS value. Next question, the total harmonic distortion DHD is the measure of option A input versus output power factor. Option B temperature sensitivity, option C waveform distortion, option D contribution of each harmonic to the total output. The correct answer is option C waveform distortion. So next question, a three phase bridge inverter requires a minimum of dash switching device. Option A3, option B4, option C6, option D8. The correct answer is option C6. So next question. In the 180 degree mode VSI, dash devices contact at a time. Option A5, option B2, option C3, option D4. The correct answer is option C3. Again we will see next video. Thank you.